Dragons come in many shapes and sizes and speak different tongues. Some are mean, some are kind, some have legs while some don't. No matter what, they all have one thing in common. They grab eyes wherever they go. The Chinese love dragons. They believe that the dragon is powerful and wise and brings good luck. There are many temples built to honor the dragons in China. Chinese dragons are snake-like. Wingless animals with four legs and five claws on each leg. According to stories, Chinese dragons have a magic pearl, which gives them the power to fly and go into heaven. The Chinese believe that dragons control water, rainfall, hurricane, and floods. Korean dragons are the most kind-hearted of all the dragons. A Korean dragon is a snake-like, wingless animal with a long beard. A Korean dragon has four legs with four claws on each leg. In Korean stories, dragons are water animals, which control water and farming. Japanese dragons are large, wingless, snake-like animals with three claws on each foot. Japanese believe that dragons are water animals that control rainfall and water. According to Japanese stories, dragons were first born in Japan. Dragons are very popular in Japan and are used a lot in art, music, and architecture. Indian dragons are wingless animals that are half snake and half human. Indian dragons are called Nagas and are said to live in an underground kingdom. In Indian stories, Nagas are found in rivers, lakes, and seas, and they are believed to be guardians of great treasures. The Filipino dragon is called Bakunawa which means moon eater. According to an ancient story in Philippines, Bakunawa is a snake-like dragon with whiskers, two pairs of wings, a red tongue, and a mouth as big as a lake. In the story, the Bakunawa lived in the sea and would rise out of the water into the sky and eat the moon. Thus, the Filipino dragons were believed to be the cause of eclipses. The flag of Wales has a red dragon in the green and white field. The flag tells the story of the red dragon, which saved Wales from the icy white dragon but died after the fight. The Welsh flag was made to honor the red dragon and remember him forever. The most famous Greek dragon was a hydra, which was killed by the Greek hero, Hercules. The hydra was a nine-headed snake-like water dragon with poisonous breath and blood. It had the power of regeneration. It grew two new heads for each head that was cut off. In this Greek story, the dragon was killed by Hercules who burnt its neck stumps to stop any new heads from growing. In most English stories, dragons were evil animals. They lived in dark caves, guarded great treasures, and fought with English knights. English dragons have four powerful legs and claws, scales on its body, huge wings, and a sharp tail. In Russia, a dragon was believed to have three heads, which could grow back if cut off. In popular Russian stories, dragons were green, walked on two back paws, had small front paws and breathed fire. The most evil among all dragons is the Scandinavian dragon, Nidhogg. He is a huge, multicolored, wingless dragon who lives underground. In the Norse story, 
This 30-foot snake-like dragon keeps eating the roots of the world tree Yggdrasil. This is dangerous for Earth because this is the tree that keeps the universe safe. The drug is the Thunder Dragon of Bhutanese stories. This dragon is the national symbol of Bhutan. The Thunder Dragon is a giant snake-like, wingless animal with four legs and scales on its body. The flag of Bhutan has a drug, and the Bhutanese people call their country Drug Yale Land of Drug. Thank you for listening. If you feel this video is useful, please share it with those who need it. Give it a like button, press the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to watch my latest videos. Thank you again and see you in the next videos.